Good afternoon, everybody. It's another episode of Intellectually Honest, unedited, uncut, and we're gonna get right into it. This is not gonna be a long video. I just wanted to, this is more of a continuation of my last video when I said the Lakers are gonna pursue Lonzo Ball in the off season. Um, I think, I th now, now let me clear, let me be clear. I want Lonzo to go to the Knicks. If, if my, my personal preference, I want him to go to the Knicks. But the Lakers are definitely gonna pursue him this off season. And I, I think I thought I kind of touched on this in my last video, but maybe I wasn't clear. So I'm giving you a few reasons why the Lakers are going to pursue him. One, LeBron James' age. LeBron James is getting old. And I don't know if y'all remember, uh, on the most old San Antonio Spurs teams, um, as uh, when Tim Duncan... Uh, started to get kind of older up there in age. Tony Parker was there to kind of keep that window, you know, keep that thing going. And, you know, Tony Parker won finals MVP a couple times, uh, at least once, I want to say, on one of those championships. So, you know, they brought in a younger guy. You know, you know, they brought along a younger guy to keep it going. Was he as big of a star as Tim Duncan? No. Is Lonzo as big of a star as Anthony Davis and LeBron? No. But he's good enough, and I think he has star potential uh, to keep that window open and to, and to keep them competitive uh, for a couple more years, um, and even even if even uh, when Tony Parker started getting older, they brought Kawhi Leonard was brought along to keep you know to keep that window open uh, a little longer, and the Spurs got another championship out of it, you know, and Kawhi Leonard was Finals MVP. So you always bring like the good the good franchises always bring you know, they find a way to extend the window, and so that's that so that's you know the reason number one that they would bring along Lonzo Ball to extend that window, you know, um, uh, it just you know that that's probably one of the biggest reasons uh, you know they're gonna they're, you know they're gonna try to get the 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 last drop of greatness that LeBron has they're gonna try to maximize it. And I think Lonzo Ball is, is it's just going to help that 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 window stay open a little longer. Uh, reason number two, uh, it'll keep Anthony Davis around. So after LeBron James leaves, let's say LeBron James has another good year left in him, and then he's like, you know what, you know, I'm out. Uh, it was you know, it's been fun. It's been a, an amazing ride, and I'm out. You think Anthony Davis will stick around to play with some? To play with Kyle Kuzma, no, you know what I'm saying. But if you got him a facilitator, a real facilitator, a real you know second star to go along with him, uh, with Lonzo Ball, who can kind of do some of the things as far as like his floor general uh, stuff and rebounding, as far as like you know affecting the game in multiple ways, uh, and his perception of the game, he can kind of do some uh, similar things to what LeBron does. So. Anthony Davis might stick around a little bit if Lonzo Ball comes there and it works. Um, and then they can just get like a third guy to go back, you know, to add to that Anthony Davis and Lonzo Ball uh, pairing. Uh, so that's, you know, that's reason number two, we'll keep AD uh, in town a little longer. Um, it was just, and, and three, reason number three, um, reason number three, uh, it would, It would be a it would be a smart business move, um, and actually I think this is probably my last point. It would be a smart business move, um, you know, for the league for the Lakers. Uh, it would just it just makes too much sense, you know. what I mean, you can build so many narratives around it. You know, the NBA is a narrative driven, star driven league. People like the narratives. They like LeBron versus Curry that saga. They like the big three Celtics versus the big three Heat back in the day. They like Jason Kidd and Jay and uh. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki finally getting one at the end of the career. Like, like the fan, NBA fans love narratives, um, and this, you know, this is it's just too much opportunity here uh, for for money to be made, for attention to be captured. You know, uh, it would just it's just too big of a business opportunity for the league. Um, they Lonzo Ball, he's you know, like it or not, I know 
like I said, I know uh, a lot of a lot of NBA fans they struggle with giving Lonzo Ball any type of props because you know Levar came along and, and he made all he made everybody emotional and we and a lot of people still haven't gotten their emotions in check yet. And as far as Levar, but like it or not, they're you know they're a brand and and they bring eyeballs. So you know that that opening night you know at the Staples Center is going to be live because it's gonna be lit because you know uh it's just you know this is the return of Alonzo Ball the return of Lebronzo you know it's it, it would just it just makes too much business sense um and I see I see P, I had a guy or or girl I don't know uh in my com in the comments on my last video saying that it can't happen because of cap space because of this and that listen there's rumors that the Lakers could pursue Dame Lillard in the off season in free agency. You tell it so if they got money to pursue Dame Lillard, you don't think they got money to pursue Lonzo Ball? The Lakers have a bunch of movable contracts. That's the way they've been doing business the last couple years. They've been getting signing like old guys, uh, veteran guys or low value guys to these short term contracts. It's easy to move contracts. They can get have a lot of contracts they can easily get. They can get up off of Kyle Kuzma's contract. You know? If you know what I'm saying, do a signing trade or whatever with the Pels, uh, you know, and however they can make that work. I'm sure Kyle Kuzma, you know, will fit, you know, with Zion somehow. Um, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't make that just doesn't make sense to me. It, you know, I mean, how 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 you can think that they have money to go after Dame Lillard, but don't think they have money to go off go after Lonzo Ball. Um, whatever. Like I said, I, uh, you know, it's not my preference for him to go to New York, but I understand if the New uh, not not I mean it's my preference for him to go to New York, but I understand if if the Lakers pursue him, and I think I think they will. Just it, like I said, it's just too big of an opportunity. Um, like I said, this isn't a long video. I just wanted to jump on here and highlight y'all um, getting prepped to watch what I think is going to be the best series. Uh, in the playoffs, these Bucks versus Nets. I think this is going to be the most exciting series in the playoffs. I, I, I'm, I'm rooting for the Bucks simply because I just, you know, I like to see super teams kind of fall. I just, I like to root for the, you know, like I love when, like my favorite championship is when Dirk and, and them guys beat the big three heat. It was just something satisfying about that. Um, so uh, that's all I got for now. Intellectually Honest signing out. Uh, catch y'all on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe.